All right, so for those of you just tuning in, we're about to do some 4v4 Mega Random between me and the viewers. This is going to be one of them low-rated player matches, though, of course, so... You know, everyone's going to be below, like, 1700 rated, and it uh, should be a pretty fun match, definitely. Of course, I know what you're thinking is, you know, my rating is way too high for this, why am I playing this match? Well, there's a, you know, fairly high demand for me to play with and against my viewers, so... You know, I tried it, so I'm going to be handicapping myself during this particular match, uh, to... Only one town center uh, before 30 minutes. Ooh, llamas. And we're going to need to do a Mega Random, which is, of course, a map in which anything is possible. So sometimes we get some pretty weird map generation. Oh, whoa, what are my... my Vils doing? Oh my god, Vils, what are you doing? Oh my god, I must have hotkeyed all of them to one uh, with my scout, which I sometimes do. Oh, well, ignoring that horrible, awful start, this is how, I, uh, this is how I'm going to handicap myself. <laughs> We're gonna do stuff like this. Of course, throughout the game, guys, is, uh, you know, my goal is to maim, not to kill. This is gonna be a fun, casual match. I'm not here to win it, I'm here to give them a nice quality game, so I'm not gonna rush them or go for some sort of flushing, crazy shenanigans. We're not gonna fast imp on them. I'm gonna go easy on them, limit myself to only one town center before 30 minutes, unless it turns into the teams are horrendously stacked against me. You know, for the most part, these matches don't unfortunately turn out to be super duper high quality. Uh, someone on one of the teams, it's either my team or the enemy team is usually very, very stacked in some way or another, so... Uh, there's not too much we can do about that, unfortunately, which is why I like to sort of shift over to AI matches for this, uh, where we play against my custom AI. Because that way we're all on the same team, so it doesn't really matter if someone is, I guess, higher or lower skill level than uh, intended, but regardless, I'm going to give this one a shot and see how this goes. Uh, and this is going to be a pretty relaxed match, so... I'm going to try and spend a little extra time reading the Twitch chat than I normally do. So if you guys have any questions about anything in specific or Byzantines related mumbo-jumbo, ask away, ask away, and I will do my best to answer all of your questions. You know this is going to be a good match, though, because it does have llamas in it, and we don't normally have llamas. Which is quite nice. Llamas very OP. Very, very OP. Friends, would I rather get punched in the face by Hitmonchan or kicked in the nuts by Hitmonlee? <laughs> Oh, that's a good question. I'm gonna say punched in the face, guys. Uh, you know, men have a very, very serious weakness, a, a disable button, really, on them. You know, if, uh, no matter how tough you think you are, no matter how much you lift, one kick of the nads and any man, 300 pounds, you're down. You're down for the count, so... I guess I have to say that. <laughs> I don't know how many llamas I have, but, uh... Oh, how many should I expect to find? The grand total is eight, uh, Deer Hunter. There's a group of four sheep, or uh, llamas, or turkeys, or whatever. There's always a group of four, or at least they're supposed to be. A group of four, and then uh, two groups of two. The group of four is supposed to be the closest group. If you have any other questions about resource distribution, I will also answer those. I'll answer anything, to the best of my abilities. I know a lot about the game, I just <laughs> make a lot of silly mistakes. I'm an encyclopedia, but I can't apply anything I know. That's just my thing. Takes practice, I guess. Practice, I guess. Now, my question is, is, I mean, I think some of those boars aren't mine, so I'm not going to put a mill there. Eh, stuff. I'll we'll probably be talking a bit about the Byzantines as well, uh, throughout this match, just because I love the Byzantines. I think if, out of all the civs that you could start the game off with, if you want to learn the game, I would say the Byzantines are the way to go. Uh, why? Because the Byzantines, well, really all of their units are good. Uh, they don't really excel in any specific way, but they also don't have really bad units of any sort, so... You'd be hard-pressed to build the wrong units as in the Byzantines, uh, which is a kind of nice thing. That's what I like about the Byzantines. Not only that, but a lot of new players struggle with getting rushed. Uh, you know, they get attacked really soon, and then they just straight-up die, because uh, their defense isn't very good. You know, they're trying to learn the, the core concepts of the game, and defending against a rush is hard. It really is, especially building up under pressure, which is really what my AI is designed to teach people to do. Uh, is how to build up under pressure. So anyway, you know, the Byzantines having the free town watch uh, technology from their town center, which gives their uh, buildings a couple, a little bit of extra line of sight, is pretty, uh, pretty stellar. I'll take that more. So that's a, a very, very nice bonus, gotta say. Okay, this is a rather lame berry patch. We only have four over there? What have... So yeah, they got a free town watch and then a bit of extra building HP, which is quite nice. So rushing them is a lot harder. Yes. So I think they're a good place yes. to start. Especially because, like, you know, no, ain't nobody got time for town watch, guys. But if it's free, it's always quite nice. 
That's actually a fairly decent board lever. Or no, it's not. <laughs> oh god, you're right. I always keep forgetting that, uh... Yeah, we have Saishin in the Twitch chat if you guys have questions for him as well, but, uh... I always keep forgetting that, uh, in, uh, Amy 2 hd Edition, The Forgotten, all food is now treated as the same type of food, so I don't need to keep force dropping off. But it's just a force of habit, man. Force of habit. I'm probably going to keep doing that anyway, just because I've been doing it since the dawn of time, but I don't have to, and you don't have to either. <laughs> There's a lot of things I do out of habit that you may have noticed. That's why I tend to play much poorer, I guess, when the game is uh, running well. Because I tend to overcompensate for lag, as funny as it is. Yeah, uh, Byzantines do uh, lack uh, last runners, which is unfortunate. They've got a very, very well-rounded army, and the fact that their trash units, their units that don't cost gold, are cheaper is really forgiving for new players. If your economy is horrendously bad, like poorly managed, you will be fine, because you can just build uh, tons of trash units, and for the most part, that'll work against uh, you know new players. You're just making trash, throwing a couple of bombard cannons in your sets, do some scouting. Okay, so this is like a donut-style map. I see we've got. Mediterranean Ocean in the in the middle, I think, and then we've got like a sort of coastal thing on the outside. Interesting. And yeah, that was actually fixed. Another reason why I like AOE 2 HD Edition. I just never can remember uh, these improvements. And oh, I got housed. I, I definitely did that on purpose, of course. Just handicapping myself, definitely. Or loses aggro. This is what I get for uh, constantly looking away from my screen. Okay, well, hmm, perhaps I should have docked in the center, but nothing really matters. I I'm gonna be very defensive this game, I'll poke people with some crappy spearmen. <laughs> Goal is to maim, not to kill. I'll just try and, uh, boom and look pretty. We'll play SimCity over here, a bit of farming simulator or whatever, I don't know. We'll roll it. Give me that scout in action. Uh, it looks like, actually, the teams are a little stacked in our favor, of course, as all. God damn it. So I'm gonna... I'll basically just be answering questions for the most part of this game. I'm not gonna be doing too much. Uh, I'm probably gonna stick to one TC for the entire game then in this case. Unless it turns out that, uh, you know, P4 and uh, this orange fellow are is just gonna end up going Super Saiyan in a minute here. But, you know, I'm not super confident in that regard. We'll see. We'll see. And that will advance to the world's slowest feudal age time. And we'll roll with it. Hey, okay, start harvesting for some of the fish. Really interesting map, though. I like this. Do I prefer Nutella or peanut butter? Ah, I like them both. I don't know if I could ever choose. It's too hard, man. I mean, there's really no point in me fast castling because I can't build extra TCs because, you know, handicapping myself. But uh, I'll put down a barracks because why not? <laughs> put down a barracks and uh, see if I can poke someone with completely unupgraded militia. Mwahahaha. <laughs> I mean, you, you would sell stone instead of mining gold if you wanted to fast castle. Uh, the AI does that, the standard AI. Uh, I wouldn't really recommend that for the most part, but you can do it. If you're new, especially, it's actually a good idea. Because, you know... that Okay, if you sell your 200 stone at the market to advance to the castle age to get you know that 200 gold that you need, then that means that you don't need to invest in any gold miners early on, which is quite nice. It can really help, uh, you know, help your eco. You know, that's a couple extra bills that you could have put on something else. Which is always, always swell. So yeah, it can help in that regard. However, you probably will need that 200 stone at some point that you just sold, so... There's always that. I don't want to be doing a face cam karaoke stream. Uh... I don't know how much of a demand there is for that, but it depends. <laughs> if there's a demand, uh, then we'll... I'll have to think about that. Alright, we're gonna make a militia, and we're gonna, we're gonna destroy some faces. <laughs> Poor Pete. Yeah, Pete, in every video, man, he always gets, uh, he always gets destroyed, so we're gonna send, uh, we're gonna send two militia at him. We're gonna show him who's boss. Pete, I hope you're ready for this. Oh, as a deliberate strat, in general? I don't think that's ever a good idea. But except for maybe, like, the Saracen Monk Rush, I guess, oh. 
Oh, I see Eddie's already said that. Neo. Yeah, I guess maybe if you're making monks, because it's a really good way to get fast gold, but you have to consider that you're probably going to regret that and want that stone uh, back at some point. All right, where's Pete's base? I'm coming for you, man. I'm coming for you. Don't you think you can hide? It's militia doing work. Da-dun, da-dun, da-dun. Jaws theme. Let's go. Is this Pete's base? Oh, I'm coming straight for you, son. Coming straight for you. Oh, he's not even ready for this. Nobody expects the two militia with tracking. <laughs> oh, that's why I love these matches, man. Yes. Cartography. Down a couple houses. Why not? Oh, here I come, Pete. Are you ready? Are you ready? You want monks? Alright, we'll do monks. As it looks like the teams are really stacked to my advantage here. So I'll start working on my super gold economy, and we're going to be playing SimCity over here. I'm going to try and wall up my base, and I'm going to pretend like I am like 1200 rated. I'm going to get a ton of stone. We're going to wall up. <laughs> we're going to transition to the castle age for some knights after we do this sick, uh, sick 20 minute rush with no upgrades. Legit strats. Maybe we can get an endorsement from Milmano saying that this is a legit strat. Competitive strats right here, guys. We have one trade cart. Yes. Start that ghetto trade line. <laughs> this is already going to be a great game. I can feel it. Feel it in my bones. Uh, Pete's in that sort of borderline zone where he's like, I guess, too good for this. And at the same time, I guess... Probably not good enough for the experienced player matches, but no, you're right. I always forget. Whatever. It'll be fair, though. I mean, it's good that Pete's in this game, because that way it's going to be fair. Because I don't think it'd be fair otherwise. It's really hard to get these teams balanced. No matter what I do, it's almost impossible. Alright. The market cannot escape from me, comrade Delta. Trading the feudal age. What's the first terrible game you remember playing? Uh, you mean, like, terrible video game or worst AOE2 match? I mean, uh, first terrible video game in general? Uh, I mean, one of the first get Oh, oh, Pete, oh. Raiding party. party! First terrible video game. Not 100% sure. I'm sorry, Pete, I must do this to you. I'm gonna drush. <laughs> I've played a lot of terrible video games, man. So many of them. There are way too many bad games out there. I mean, I had a lot of problems when I, like, m the first video- Oh, wow, Pete, you son of a- Alright. Alright, Pete, I see how it is. Oh, take these militia. <laughs> Rip my fishing eco. Alright, alright, I see how it is, Pete. I see how it is. He's got the galleys. But I'm doing some serious damage with this <laughs> Uh, I- One of my first video games is like, Looney Tunes Care Crazy or something like that for the, uh, Game Boy. And uh, I hated that game as a child, and it made me a very, very frustrated individual, I'll tell you that. But that game was, like, really hard, and I hated the level design so much. It was really infuriating. So, no, I, I despise that game. Uh, it might have, I mean, I haven't played it in forever, so it might have actually been a good game, and I just didn't know when I was younger, but... And that game uh, definitely scarred me for a bit. As, like, okay, as, like, a five-year-old, you know, and... That's what the game was designed for, for five rules. It was disgustingly uh, difficult. It, it destroyed me. <laughs> I hated that game so much. And it was the only game I had, right? So I had no choice but to play it, and it just... Ugh, destroyed me as a person. But it's not its not the worst game I've ever played, of course. Not even close, but... It was pretty bad. Alright, see you, Kmart Toaster. Oh wait, are you still staying? I don't know, I just read someone saying that. Oh, it's just because I went his chicken is, is leaving, okay. Is Pete dead yet? <laughs> He's not dead yet. Yeah, you're gonna buy some food, we're gonna advance because it's time to get some monks out. I get some monks. Alright, great success that drush was. I mean, actually, it was kind of worthwhile. Oh wait, do I really not have a blacksmith?
Hmm, I can't tell if this match is going to be fair or not, but it probably... I mean, it's a good thing that Pete's in here. Pete will, will balance out his, his team, which appears to be a little bit further behind, uh... That's Marin's. With my... With my fishing ships now. Get down another trade cart, because no good reason for it. We're going Castle Age. Let's try and get some monks out. I mean, thankfully I've got a lot of, uh... Uh, gold on this map? An absurd amount, in fact. It, it's ridiculous. Hmm. I'm gonna try and wall my base off a bit, I guess. Uh, try and keep myself safe from uh, shenanigans. Especially because I'm gonna be so vulnerable because my eco is gonna blow. Under attack again. Presumably boats. Yep. Oh. Yes. I see. Interesting. Put a gate over there as well. Sort of kind of wall my base off. Just a teeny bit. Okay, I guess he is going to need some pikes. Hopefully Gray's got some stuff. Peach, you rat bastard. I'm going to convert the crap out of your monks. I mean, uh, out of your, uh, your knights. Alright, see you, Kmart. Get a couple, uh, spears. Let's see how this goes. Oh, it looks like he mostly has that situation under control. I will take the water back after I convert your navy, sir. Mess monks. You've, con you've returned with mountain-sized pasta. Welcome back. Welcome back. We go mass monks again. Why not? I should just make that a thing. Like, that's my new handicap. I can do whatever I want, but I can only make monks. <laughs> is that is that a better handicap? I mean, that's a more fun handicap, I'll admit that. Uh, I don't know if it's a viable handicap, but I can do whatever I want, but I can only make monks. Rip my dock. should probably build a castle so that I just don't die. Good to see all my viewers getting housed. <laughs> like father, like son. Yeah, and some of these monasteries. Well, Pete's pretty good. He just can't. I mean, to be fair, nobody can handle that kind of drush, man. That, that was uh, that was an intense drush. <laughs> it was the best. All right, let's get out some. Uh, Oh, I see. Oh, he's gonna kill my blacksmith! Build a new one. Oh, that's a terrible location for it. He's gonna block my trade. Shaft mining or not, I guess, because I don't have the money for it. Oh, this is one town center. It's too hard. Alright, we'll go with Fervor, because Fervor actually works in AV2 HD edition. <laughs> you do it for me, man. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, what do you mean, when the... Uh, when it crashed? Do you mean, like, the physical time, or the in-game time? Because I think it crashed around, like... I think it was, like, a 100-minute game? I don't remember. Maybe it's even longer. It might have been like 120 minutes, even. <laughs> Let me know the trade cost. Looks like his base is pretty safe. Wow, yeah. Poor Squirrel over here is getting... He's getting harassed. He could use some help from his teammates. Or her teammates. I'm assuming it's a guy. Yeah. Girl's a guy. I don't know. Nobody knows that I'm actually just a dog on the internet. Start getting the monks out. Do I, I have to be in the Imperial Age, right? Where it's like only one monk has to rest after a conversion. 
forget which one that one's called, Illumination or something? I don't remember. Yeah, Fervor only used to work when you were holding a relic. Fun fact. Pretty stupid. <laughs> They've since fixed it, obviously. I mean, these walls are kind of pointless. I don't even know why I have them. It's just for kicks, I guess. Why not? I mean, thankfully, I actually have an eco for mass monks, whatever that means. I've got the right economy for it. I've got a ton of gold. Should I build a dock so I can put monks in transport ships? Oh no, you big brute. <laughs> Alright. Put monks in transport ships. Sounds like a plan, guys. You know, thankfully, uh, Yellow is reacting correctly with some skirms. Doesn't have fletching, though. No upgrade, no blacksmith upgrades are going to make that really tough. Uh, to respond to that, what what he needs, uh, Yellow needs, is back from the team. It's theocracy, that's what it is. I think you can drink this. I do not have access to that, right? It's it Imperial Age Tech, I think? Just plays Chinese next round. You want to see another three-hour game? I should play as the Chinese, actually. I should. At some point. Let's get atonements. Convert enemy monks. Not that I think I'm going to you know, see any of this game, but screw it. Not all the relics are the outer shore line, but most of them are a sphere black. I mean, this one's kind of inlandish. Kinda. Alright, we're getting some monks out. I guess. <laughs> Sway, give me unique tech. Oh, gold. Fire ships have one extra range. Gold, please. You think I'm gonna give you some of my gold? Hell no. I'm kidding. I'm like a leprechaun in this game. A pot of gold. Alright, so we're gonna load these in a transport ship, I guess, and I'm gonna, like, dock monks on people. <laughs> oh, see, this is the problem, is, like, if you look at our team, I think we're kinda stacked. I mean, poor Yellow uh, got harassed pretty, uh, pretty well. We're pretty stacked, so, I mean, I feel like if I contribute at all, I just kinda... just kinda win, and I don't wanna... He's never gonna let me get this uh, relic, but maybe. Maybe. Take all the relics. <laughs> yes, good, good. More monks. More, more. And I have to get that uh, transport ship upgrade. So we're careening. Fletching. Why not? Drop this off. Punk should be able to physically attack with your staff if they don't have faith. <laughs> That'd be pretty cool, man. <clears throat> yeah, wow. Oh, see, there's a problem, you know, is it's not always that there's, I guess, you know, 2k smurfs and stuff in all these matches. I mean, yes, that happens way too often, but uh, usually the case is, is that Players' skill levels, when they're, like, low-rated, tend to just vary massively. Like, the difference between, you know, one, you know, 1650-rated or 1550-rated player to another 1550-rated player is absurd. I mean, they're, they're all radically different uh, skill levels, is the thing. And rating isn't really a, uh, a good measure of skill, I guess. It's okay. You know, it gives you a general idea. These guys are all similarly-ish skilled, but... I mean, you look at the gap between the people with 4k score and then the people with, like, 2 to 3k score. That's a pretty big score gap, and yet they all have very similar ratings, so... That's the problem with these matches, is they never really turn out to be super quality, just because, uh... I mean, like, as the higher rated you go, the more accurate it tends to be, like, 1700 and plus. Uh, tends to be where the rating, I guess, starts to matter more, but... As you're lower rated, it could just be, like, a lack of matches played. I don't know, but, uh, it doesn't seem to mean anything. <laughs> I wish there was a way I could ensure that the players were all relatively the same skill level so that we get a nice quality match. That way I control in peace. Because I'm concerned. I don't want to uh, I don't want to kill anybody, but... I'm going to lead all these spearmen because uh, they're not monks and it's cheating. Now that he doesn't need my help. Pew, 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 pew. This is AOE 2 HD edition, uh, The Forgotten. So we're gonna go for, uh... I think a ton of monks. Try and get to the Imperial Age at some point this year. That might be a good idea. I do. Thank you, uh, Sphere Black. 
should be able to advance. Oh, right, I'm the Byzantines. It cost me nothing. I never remember that. Well, if you guys have any questions, let me know, because uh, I'm concerned if I do anything, I'm just going to kill some people. And that is not the goal here. The goal here is to have a nice, fair match, but uh, I think my dreams of having a fair match here are pretty much over. I will dock these monks in someone, though, and uh, ruin their day. I promise that. That will happen. <coughs> the Forgotten is like the new expansion for Age of Empires 2. Uh, it's not like new, I guess, anymore. I always say it's new because it's new to some people. But, um, adds five new civilizations, a bunch of new units. Uh, it's very, very cool. We get the Italians, uh, Slavs, Magyars, Incas, and Indians as the new civs. Uh, every civilization also has a new unique technology, except for the Goths, because the Goths already have two, so every civ now has two unique techs, <coughs> at a minimum. And they added a bunch of new architecture and everything, it's, it's very cool, a lot of new features. That's why this map we're playing right now is mega random, so it's also unique to the Forgotten. Ten dollars on Steam, if you have HD Edition. It's, uh, very, very, very fun. Fun expansion pack. So I'm going to give uh, my opponents a little bit to, to build up while I'm just working on my Mass Monk Empire. My eco is terrible. <laughs> I have, like, no hood. <coughs> uh, the Forgotten Empires was released, I think, in 2010? Correct me if I'm wrong. If Section is still here, he can... He's one of the developers. He can let you know, but I believe it was released around 2010. And uh, it was released on Steam relatively recently, a couple, I think like six months ago or something like that. Watch me just walk into a bunch of cannon galleons with these and loose all these bombs. It was uh, released <coughs> quite a while after the uh, <coughs> original game was. <coughs> was it released in late uh, 2012? Might have been. Ah, okay, so 2012 then. Okay, so it's uh, newer than I thought. AWE 2 HD Edition is like the port of AWE 2 to Steam, so they added a bunch of new stuff. <coughs> What's going on? Oh, I see. I'm just getting housed. Alright, well, I'm gonna start dropping some monks on some guys, I guess. How many monks uh, should I make, guys, before I just drop them on somebody? Any suggestions? I'm all ears, of course. This is a fun game. Okay, December 2012. It became an official... Okay, so basically it was a fan-made expansion, of course. But uh, Microsoft ended up adopting it as an official expansion because they did such a good job on it. It really does feel like part of the game. Like, it actually does fit in with everything. Should we, uh, should we start docking some monks now? 200 monks? I've got, I've got like 40 monks right here, so uh, we're just going to go drop them on uh, some unsuspecting soul over here. I mean, I know that Pete's taking a lot of flack this game, so maybe he'll drop it on uh, Ian Spam, I guess. Fuck it. <laughs> Here comes the monk drop! This is like uh, when you like drop banelings on people, I guess. Except this time they're wolloing and not exploding on people. Here he comes, here comes Speed Racer. He's a demon on wheels. He's a demon and he's gonna be chasing. After someone. Hello, uh, Dream Arena. Or Dream Error. Uh, Dreamer Arena. Okay. <laughs> How is Butcher People's Names? Thank you for stopping by. Welcome to the live stream. It would be a shame if something happened to all of this, guys. Mwahahaha. <laughs> oh, it's Illumination, and there's Theocracy. I should have researched all that crap before I got in there, but screw it. Whatever. Let me theocracy. Wah, wah, wah. Now I'm gonna delete all these guys. These guys don't count. Do I have any monks with faith left? All right, whatever. We're just gonna heal each other. Get your navy out of here, ski wars. We don't need your navy. I should research those texts first. <laughs> Not used to monk rushing. I get faith in case he wants to counter monk me. Words I never thought I'd say. Oh, 
All right. Well, hello. And delete it because it's not a monk. Jesus. Was it enemy use? Oh, oh. Okay, maybe I should have kept those uh, conquistadors. All right, we're gonna need a lot more monks, guys. I think that uh, we need a lot more monks. All right, touche, enemy team, touche. The wool alone will continue later. <laughs> oh my! <laughs> oh, the only reason I'm on crushing guys is because this is a low-rated player match, and I'm not trying to kill these guys. I want it to be a nice, quality, relaxing game for them. You know, like they—they're uh, lower rated than me, you know. So I don't want to—I don't want to crush them. It's not—it's not fair. So I'm just having fun with this one, and everyone wanted me to make mass monks again, so why not? Spread education across the land, as one guy put it. And of course I'll be answering any questions that you guys have about anything Age of Empires related, or even not Age of Empires related. Just because, you know, during this match I get to read the Twitch chat. You know, that's the nice thing about these inexperienced player matches, is I get to read the Twitch chat all the time. No problems whatsoever, because not really focused too much on this particular match. Just monks today. It's monk time! Hello, Natalie! Welcome to the stream. 